Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the cartoon I'm about to discuss, please go do so before watching this video. You have been warned. What's up guys, it's Josie Koizumi, and today's cartoon combo will be talking about the most requested episode of Hey Arnold, Mary. I'm going to crack this baby open and tell you my thoughts and theories on this episode. Before I continue on, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Hey Arnold related videos. Also, if you want me to talk about any other cartoon episode or pairings, don't be shy to ask. If I've watched it, I can totally discuss it. Okay, okay, back to Mary. The episode starts off with Rhonda creating ships from the get-go. Sheila and Eugene, her origami marriage predictor is never wrong. I remember having one of those in elementary and middle school and I used to think it was totally accurate. Yep, nope, never did marry that one dude from Motown. Anyway, then we see that stupid little slut Lila acting all intuitive and whatnot. Bitch, that bell rings at the same time every day like, like Helga said. Any idiot can figure that out. Insert a Helga iconic monologue here. And yet, my poor baby Helga. I love this scene so much because it truly shows just how insecure she feels about herself, character growth and whatnot. It's not always about her thinking she can punch through anything. I also love how she puts out in the universe that she's the one. I mean, doy. So Arnold catches Helga behind the dumpster. She holds the locket to her chest. This part is a super close call. But honestly, if you pause just at the right moment, it looks like he's looking straight at her locket. How can he not see his own picture? My theory is that, you know, he probably didn't. Let's just be real. <laughs> but if I were him, seeing any heart-shaped locket in Helga's hands would raise questions. Hasn't he seen that locket before? Come on, dude. Ooh, I'm like super red. Ooh. Rhonda tempts Arnold to take the test. Arnold thinks it don't mean shit. But Gerald makes a convincing speech, which he nails on the head for his future. He takes the test as Helga Hyde to listen in, of course. No matter how many times he takes the test, Helga, Helga. Arnold pisses me off here because he acts so repulsed about it. How annoying. I get it, but like, still, if I were Helga, I'd be pissed. Moving on. Gerald kind of has this feeling in his gut when he tells Arnold it's possible, but Arnold refuses. I think Gerald's feeling was super intuitive, for sure. They both go to bed. Arnold is super pissed, but Helga's girlhood trembles even more, and they start to dream at the same time about each other. Oh, sure. It's not like soulmates do that or anything. Arnold nightmare starts and they're 25 years old. They didn't change much for 25. I feel like Craig decided to keep them looking super similar to their current selves because that's all Arnold knows to see. When we get to Helga's dream, that shit changes. I'll get to that after. Helga forces Arnold into marrying her, and he wakes up all shaken up. Origami never lies, bitch. Helga's dream starts, and the wedding is super different than Arnold's adaptation. It's grand and mutual, to say the least. Helga is a veteran at these dreams. I'm sure that this isn't the first time she's imagined this, which makes a difference in the way they look apparent. Helga could picture them as adults, changed and all, much more mature, more realistic to the timeline. They set off to what I think is Venice for the honeymoon. It's Shakespearean themed and all. Even their speeches, they just seem like it's like Shakespeare. Super lame but adorable. <laughs> Lila shows up like a beaten down piece of trash, cause she is. I feel like in Helga's mind that's exactly how she sees her, but in real life it's different. She's free to feel confident in her dreams, that's why Lila is a peasant like that like she's like a peasant it pans to them at what i think is like some beach house that they own somewhere lavish helga decides to run for president which i totally love that direction that they went into making helga the breadwinner i feel like back in the day even though most people believe that men should be the one to take care of the women they went out of the boundary and portrayed a new light girl power Back to the so-called nightmare. Arnold is forced into working for Bob. He sees what Helga has to go through with her family. You know, Bob forgetting her name and Miriam being absent-minded. I think even though he's pissed at the situation that he's in, I feel like he can, you know, be sympathetic to her. He can see that 
you know, the environment that she's in makes Helga a bully. I think that he could see that. The stork brings home the baby. Oh, the naiveness of a nine-year-old boy. I bet Helga knows exactly where babies come from. Come on. Girlhood trembling. Back to Helga. She wins presidency and she's awesome. So awesome. Helga, 2020. Uh-oh, Arnold is a damsel in distress. Yes, yes, more girl power. No offense to dudes, but kids needed this. I remember watching this episode and thinking, shit, if Helga can do that, so can I. It's a good message to girls, especially in the 90s. It's a little different. So she's all Kim Possible and finds out that Lila is the kidnapper. In her mind, Lila kidnapped Arnold in the real world metaphorically, and her saving him is kind of her own way of letting go of her resentment a little bit. She won, even in her dream. It's just a theory. They fly away in their hot air balloon and share a sandwich kiss. A bit weird, but hey, no limits for Helga when her girlhood trembles. Arnold's nightmare continues and it's just chaos. This is the good part. Okay. He finally takes charge and becomes the man she can't step on anymore. When the walls disappear and the scene around them changes, this, in theory, is the part where their minds link. Even if Helga didn't see it in her dreams, her heart was connecting to his. Truly, and not just because they were dreaming of each other. It, this felt like real life. He tries to pull the truth out of her and force it out of her, and it just makes sense. She gets to the edge of confession, but he wakes up before she could completely spill it. Love, love, you know, uh, convenient. But even if she did, it was just a dream. There's no real evidence. But after this dream, in theory, I feel like it was like halfway to realizing it in, in RL, in real life, for those who don't know what that means. Helga overhears him telling Gerald on the bus that he wouldn't mind marrying her if he had to, which makes me believe that his heart grew three times the size that day. Rhonda ruins it by telling him that she made a mistake. But did she? Did, did she? She did. Rhonda acts all yanky about them actually being together, which causes what I believe to be a glimpse into the future. Even if it's shown as Phoebe's imagination of the two of them, I think she absolutely was seeing through a crystal ball. It ends with Helga and Arnold older, happily married, watching the sunset on top of a lighthouse. It's the perfect adaptation of them as adults without the lavish life or the horrible one. It's exactly how the story ends for them, happily ever after. So what exactly do I believe is the intent of this episode? I think Craig Bartlett wanted us to feel that soulmate aspect, that vibe that they're you know, meant to be together between them, proving in his own way that they are in fact soulmates, that they're meant to be together. That's what I take from this episode. There isn't a lot of theories. I think that this episode is super straightforward. If anything, everybody's theory is that they were dreaming kind of like they were like there's two clouds of a dream and this was his and this was hers and like in like old cartoons and they're kind of just like joined together. And then at the end of Arnold's dream, I feel like it kind of bumps hers out and his becomes like the main focus and even though maybe she wasn't seeing that part that's that's always going to be in her heart that she she wants to confess and i feel like a little piece of her like went into his dream and i don't know is that too much like i don't know i, I feel like and that part with phoebe at the end i feel like she's really looking into a crystal ball here i think that even though it's an imagination i, I really believe that what she's seeing is an actual picture of what their life is going to be like in the future do you agree what do you think about married let me know in the comments let me know your theories thoughts and theories and all that and if i missed anything or if you think that something else that I should have seen in the episode was there. I'm telling you, it's not a lot because it's so straightforward. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what episode you want to see next. What episode do you want me to discuss? Even if it's not Hey Arnold, anything else, but if it's Hey Arnold, hey, I'm, I'm totally for it. As you, as you know, I'm a little obsessed. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what episode and I'll, and I'll take a few votes and see, you know, what comes out and I'll do it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you in the funny papers, nerds. Bye.